17 Street.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a 12 box and a spare. Rolly with a spare. All right, we got marks everywhere. I'm like a frame late, but that's okay. Thankfully, only a frame late. I thought it was going to be more than that. But welcome, everybody, to episode two of uh, Summer of Parkville. This one's got our name on it. It's Duck Finch Forever Trippers. This one, and this one, by the way, might be a spore fest. Uh, I have the team names back. All right, so score fest well underway. Now I think I'm caught up and I can uh, describe what's going on a little better. Look, I even got Matt's score wrong. Oh, now he struck. Okay, there we go. Many scores. Uh, Mike Sisk has been absolutely red hot this weekend. He's got two spares to start this game. A little bit of announcers jinx as he goes light. Good morning, Michelle. Yeah, would have been a little surprised had he made that. Yeah, I, I heard that on the way here that Mike Sisk was. Oh, yeah. That's a team team strike frame for Buckingham. That's 18 straight frames, right? And then he almost slid the 8-10 for a 10 box. Good run, Mike Sis. You want about you want about 17 hours without an open. All right, Steve Rowley to close out the third. Got a team strike frame from Buckingham. Rowley's on a spare. That looks pretty good. Yeah, we got a score fest brewing here, folks. <laughs> team Rowley, 162 on two hits. Team Buckingham, 157 on three hits. These triples games do go by pretty quick, and uh, at this pace, they're going to go by even quicker. Seven pin for Thomas. Counts nine forty seven through three. Four pin for Brandon. Thomas is all over. Three straight street. Yeah. Three straight spares for Thomas. Brandon, two count on the strike, takes the four pin and the seven pin. It's only uh, 26 in the third. Going to need to clean up here. Oh, boy. That is two, three, four, five out. 31 in the fourth with a mark for Brandon. Here's Mike Sisk. See if he can get back on the board. That's one of the ways to do it. Off the side, one, two. Mike at 44 through three and just ended again a streak of 18 consecutive marks in the tournament. Matt Buckingham all marked through the first three. Looking for the double here. Leaves the eight pin. Mike Sisk has it. Three out of four to start the game for Mike Sisk. Might have to ask him later where he has, has found this torrid pace of marks. Averaged well in the 150s for the tournament. Buckingham off the foul line. He's got the spare, 20 bucks at 67 plus. It's a good score through four with no double. All right, here's Steve Rowley working on a strike. 
For the double, he's got it. Score fest, folks. We have a score fest. That's team frame for Team Roly. Firing back after Buckingham dropped the team frame. Andrew Buckingham for the double. Nope. 2-4 for Andrew. So with a with a spare here, it would be three consecutive frames for the pair, five out of six marks. That is pretty impressive. The last 18 combined frames for the pair, we have 15 marks. And if you take Brandon out, it's 14 out of 15. It's pretty incredible. Here's Brandon on the two pin. Seven pin lead and a hit for Team Roley. Uh, Richard, there are 12 teams left. Thomas in the pocket. Another nine count, leaves a six. 66 through four for the first overall pick in the Pro League this past year. Brandon Cook on the four pin on his second ball, leaves a one three nine for the wood shot. Thomas, no. One three nine for Brandon. Nine out. Forty half for Brandon Cook. Seventy-five half for Thomas Harvey. Looking at a sixteen pin separation, and most of that and some is coming from the top spot, seventy-five to forty. Here's Matt Buckingham working on a spare at 67 plus. He is all marked so far. Four in a row, make it five. And five off the wall, no less. 87 plus in the half for Matt. Mike Sisk, 54 plus in the fourth. Also on a spare. Got to go. Pounds the side for six. This is a score fest. Well, for five of them. Okay. Goodbye. That's another strike. How many strikes have we had? A lot. In the last three frames alone, we've had a lot. Another spare for Mike. I mean, they. Through the frames two through four, that's 18 combined frames. They had 15 marks. There's, each frame was five out of six for the pair. Uh, I'd say so. All right, I see, it is a big ball here. See Rowley with a slight lead for his team, closing out the fifth, and he's working on a double. Maybe. Hmm, little flat finish. Breaks out the eight pin, leaves a single five. 59 through three puts him at the high score on the pair through three. Can spare here to stay even hits headed into the second half. Tugged it. So it will be a lead for Team Roley of about 20 pins, but a hit advantage for Buckingham. All right, 9-9 nine, nine, and 10, score 273 to 253. 20 pin lead for Team Rowley, but they are on one hit. They are on one hit to Team Buckingham's two hits, and both hits are strikes. Team Buckingham will need some help from Brandon Cook here in the second half. Oh. Wow. Well, I'm going to replay that because, you know, uh, welcome to Parkville. Welcome to the golden arches of Baltimore City and County. Another, another, an, another, another four pin for Brandon Cook. Uh, he actually uh, four pin first ball last time on this lane. Uh huh. This is his. This is his monster that he's created. Brandon for the nine pinner, maybe. Uh, no.
Thomas, two consecutive missed single pins. He made three in a row. Cleans this one up for 10, 85 in the sixth. Wood ball for Brandon Cook. Nice 10. Gets him to 50 in the sixth frame. Mike Sisk working on two spares in a row. At 70 plus in the half. That's pretty good. That's really good. Yeah. That's five off the wall. And it was. I think I have just enough time to replay. Just enough time to replay the five off the wall. There we go. Here's Matt Buckingham. Chance to double. Goodbye. Like I said, this is a score fest. This might be 500 to 500 by the end of this game. Yeah. Steve through the middle. Thankfully on and open. Doesn't hurt him in count. Uh, and it's not like these strikes have been cheap either. They've, they've all been solid. I, th I, think, I think Brandon had a, might have had a sloppy one. I'm not sure. I didn't actually see it. Andrew for the double. He also plows out the front. Steve with a nice bit at it. It leaves him a decent third ball shot. Andrew's got a hold count here. I, I don't know that I, I shoot that side. Really? I don't. I think you have better chances of getting four going on the other side. I think so. I do. But... I also am the guy that tends to be sitting in the desk at the desk a lot on Sundays, so it's all theoretical. All psychological. And Andrew will take nine out. Where are we at now? We're at three thirteen to two ninety eight. Hits are not even, so Team Buckingham down fifteen pins up a hit, and it's Matt Buckingham's double. Brandon found the head pin, got punished. Five off the wall. He's got another one to read, though. He did miss a single in the fifth as well. All right, seven, eight for Brandon Cook. He'll be looking to go one and one. That's in the ditch. And slides by 58 in the seventh for Brandon Cook. Mike Sis, chance to fire back with a double of his own. Little light doesn't quite get there. Looking to kick the 10. Oh, watch out, five pin. Oof. Almost swung around and took the five out. That would have been less than ideal. Two. What's your handicap? Oh, I read that wrong. You're 44. And they're 46. Blister nine. Good to know. Okay. Open frame for Mike and lose his count. Seven count on strike. Just a single 10 for Matt. Rides the rail. No. Matt at 125 in the sixth. Not bad. Mike Sisk, nine out for 106 in the seventh. That will slide by again, 999. Where are we at now? We are at 343 to 335. Team Roley ahead by eight pins and at the moment up a hit. Eight of it. But it is Parkville, so it's eight off the side. Andrew coming off of a Six on, nine out, and a middle rip. He does one better than Steve, off the side for nine. A lot of pin action on these lanes. Yeah, you don't say. This is why this is a TV pair. It's a world record pair. Oh. Got the 
got the proprietor's push, as he calls it. Um, I believe a two-game doubles world record is on this pair. Uh, winning, uh, um, it's either that or it's Joey Sears' individual. Oh. Or that might have been on 15 I was going to say, I, I think I was during, during the, uh, the two-by-four. Yeah. Spare break for Brandon Cook? It's not. Thomas for the double. The teammate calls for back door. It's going to be a 1 3 6 for Thomas. Brandon for the spare. He's got it. 68 plus in the eighth for Brandon Cook. Thomas got it. I didn't know if that ball was going to get there, but it. It bit well on the back end to cover. 18-pin lead, even hits for Team Rolly. No. Like Sisk, high and tight. Whoa, hello. Is a three four eight. You play that off the wall. Are you going to shoot it like a baby's? Yes, I play that off the wall. Because the ball takes the eight. Two and two for Matt through the middle. I think if you get heavy on that side, your ball might carry. It might not be enough, but the ball might carry. The ball will carry the eight pin if you hit the three pin light. I might went for neither. Matt for the spare. He picks. So now a battle to clean up here on the third ball. Nine for Mike. And just eight for Matt. So Team Murley gains another pin there. Win that nine to eight. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Steve Rowley with the strike. I'll have to get David to change that. I don't think I can change that. It says Walkersville Lanes. We are definitely at Parkville. Two on for Andrew. That hurt. And he covers again. Another eight pin spare for Andrew. It's his second of the game. And both of them were on spares. 27 pin lead for Team Rowley. Both teams on two hits. Brandon Cook off the side. How about all of them? We have two strikes all turn. That's terrible. Spare fill for Thomas Harvey to answer. He hits the pocket, seven pin, no belt. Thomas will count nine, 124 through eight. Brandon Cook now at 88 plus in the ninth. With two strikes in the spare. Seven pin for Thomas, yes. 134 plus in the ninth for Thomas. Had three spares in a row, two missed single strike, and then two spares. Currently 26 pin lead for Team Rowley. Here's Matt Buckingham, deuce. Mike Sis working on an open. That 115 in the eighth. High and tight. Oh, 910. And Buckingham takes six more. Got the 510 remaining. Will be an open frame. Mike looking to slide the 910. 
Lays up for one. Nine box for Matt at 151 in the ninth. Like Sisk collects 10, 125 in the ninth. Closing out the ninth frame now. This is the foundation frame. You want to set up for 10th well. Andrew coming off of a two spare. High and tight. Gets a break. Leaves just the seventh pin. Now at 128 through the eighth. Big ball here for Steve Rowley. On a strike can double and put serious pressure on his opponents. Five pin. He definitely liked that one when he let it go. Now Andrew's got to bring this in to give him two hits. Got it. Andrew, 138 plus through nine. Steve looking to match now. If he doesn't convert here, game gets a little dicey. If he spares, they're in pretty good shape. Got it. Turns his back on it. All right, your score here, 451 to 423. It is a 28-pin lead for Team Rowley. Hits are 2-2. Two to two. Brandon Cook does have a chance to double. Team Rowley only working on spare counts. There's Thomas on the spare. Solid in the pocket and no love. 4-7-10. Brandon just throw a gutter ball? No. I was looking away. I didn't see it. Thomas takes the wood. Got one more ball here. Brandon still on the strike count. Two count. Three mark, 94 for Brandon Cook. Thomas Harvey, very quality game despite two missed singles from Thomas. He finishes with 151, only one strike. And that really opens the game up now and they're running out of options. It is a 39 pin lead for Team Rowley with two bowlers left. They will need an otherworldly finish to make this game close. Including that probably striking for Matt right there. Hold on a minute. Five pin for Mike. We thank you for letting it spin, though. Uh, this is an absolute must from Matt. He covers. They would then need Mike to miss this, basically, to have any chance. And he's in no mood to give him a chance. Unfortunately, it looks like difference maker in the match is going to be a tough game from Brandon with with bad count. Had a two on five out and a two on four out on strikes. And those are big difference makers in the story. Phil ball for Matt pushing through with seven. And it kept falling. Nice 168. Could possibly end up being the high game on the pair. Fill ball for Mike Sisk to get into the 140s. He'll do that. 
Eight off the side, 143. That makes it a 40, 40 pin match with one bowler left. Both bowlers on spares. This is all she wrote. Oh, jeez. That might be one of the strongest strikes we'll see all day. That was an absolute nuke. Steve just needs count, and that'll do it. Mm. A well-timed pick for Steve Rowley. He'll finish out. Nice game for him, 166. And Team Rowley finishing with 504. Final ball from Andrew. He's going to be in the 160s. Oh, he makes it. Oh, what a shot. He slides that shot. Final score, 504 to 476. Three games in the 160s. Uh, 66 from Steve, a 68 from Matt, and a 68 from Andrew. We're going to take a quick pause as the up.